So I want to shift the conversation a little bit in the last few minutes we have. The mRNA vaccines have been a, a huge success in the fight against COVID and more broadly just as a medical technology. It's raised a lot of excitement about um, how this mRNA technology could be used in other diseases. One of the ones that's been mentioned is how this mRNA technology could be used in cancer care. So could you explain to us how that could hypothetically work and how optimistic you are about this making some advancements in cancer care? Well, one of the major uh, areas of cancer care is immunotherapy. Um, and we're still trying to understand how immunotherapy works, um, what its uh, ranges and possibilities are. Now, immunotherapy, of course, involves inciting the immune system against anything. In, and in the case of cancer, it would be inciting the immune system against cancer. Now, um, it's important to realize that uh, the mRNA vaccines allow us to find a completely new way uh, of inciting or exciting the immune system against cancer. So you can imagine taking a cancer um, cell, finding out what's unique about it, uh, what unique proteins it expresses, and then just like you know, you'd have a vaccine against COVID, which would incite your immune system against COVID, a virus, you could imagine um, such a sim similar thing with cancer. You could imagine inciting an immune response against uh, the cancer and thereby directing immunotherapy against cancer. Now, this could be done at a cancer by cancer level, which would be highly dependent on precision medicine. Uh, in other words, you'd have to take the individual cancer and find out what was unique about it and then use the mRNA to incite an immune response against it. Or it could be done as a preventative. So, you know, there are now several vaccines against uh, potential virally induced cancers such as human papilloma virus um, or such as Epstein. We haven't got a vaccine yet there, but for um, a cancer related virus such as Epstein-Barr virus. So it opens a new frontier of being able to deliver mRNAs in, um, into a cancer, uh, sorry, into a human body such that you could elicit an immune response against cancer. Um, one of the things that our laboratory is working on is something different, which is to say, can you use the similar mRNA technology to change the genetics um, of a human body such that you can now attack the cancer, not in an immunological sense, but to make a difference uh, using the mRNA to make a difference between the normal cell and the cancer cell. So there are a, a really a variety of mechanisms, mostly immunological, but some non-immunological, by which we can use these mRNA technologies to advance cancer care.